Okay, so today's video is about the difference between hate speech and God's word. The Oxford Dictionary describes hate speech as abusive or threatening speech or writing that expresses prejudice against a particular group, especially on the basis of race, religion, or sexual orientation. Dictionary.com describes prejudice as an unreasonable feeling, opinion, or attitude, especially of a hostile nature regarding an ethnic, racial, social, or religious group. Here's a couple of examples of prejudice. Some white people used to compare black people to animals. They called us the N-word. They basically implied and stated outright that we were less than them. We were not smart. We were ignorant, etc. you name it. There was no logical reason for this other than their own hate and fear of somebody that didn't look like them. And also because of what their parents taught them, that racism, hatred is passed down from generation to generation. Another example of prejudice occurred when American Muslims experienced racism after 9-11. People be begin to look at them and assume that just because they wear a turban or wear a hijab, they just automatically assumed that they were terrorists and they would call them ter terrorists. They would call them Taliban. They would spit on them. They would do all sorts of things to them just because of how they looked. Those would be examples of treating someone unfairly or using hate speech towards someone because of how they look or how they dress. It's interesting to see how Christian content creators pastors etc are being silenced online because they're sharing the gospel they're sharing their faith is being referred to as hate speech which doesn't make any sense and usually when it's being referred to as hate speech it's because they're talking about transgender people and gay people the word of god is not hate speech telling someone about their sin and just trying to warn them of the consequences is not hate speech. Now, saying things like all homosexuals, all gay people should die, that would be hate speech. That would That's definitely wrong. No one should say that. You may even have some so-called Christians that will say things like that, but that's not right. We should not say things like that. You should not be calling yourself a Christian, a follower of Jesus, and saying things like, well, these people deserve to die. That's not right. Or sometimes people will use the F word to refer to gay people or other types of words. That would be hate speech. Jesus wants everybody to come to him. Just because God's word is something that you don't want to hear doesn't mean that it's hate speech. Christians who are sincerely preaching the gospel are not singling out gay people and calling them derogatory names, hunting them down on the street, etc. If you're a transgender person or a gay person and you're watching this, just know that Jesus does love you, but you have to change what you're doing. You can't keep doing the same thing and expect to have a relationship with God. You have to repent and turn away from what you're doing. And Jesus can help you do that. But also, please know that God's word is not hate speech. We've all sinned and fell short of the glory of God. So what that means is we've all done things. We've all said things. We've all thought things that were wrong. I know I have, especially in my past. We all have a past. If you die and you're not in a relationship or connected with God, you'll be spiritually separated from God when you die, when you leave this earth. So Jesus Christ died for us. He died for our sins. He took the place of sin so we could have that relationship with God. 
his death also allows us to have eternal life with God. So we won't be separated from him. When we die, we won't be separated from God. When I say having a relationship with God, think about a good friend that you may have. Your friend comforts you, gives you advice, gives you guidance. Your friend is always there for you, right? So with God, it's the same way. Jesus wants to have that same relationship with you. People won't always be there for you. Sometimes people can be flaky. Sometimes people can change. Sometimes people may give you the wrong advice or they may not say what needs to be said. They may actually end up enabling you. Sometimes people are afraid to tell you the truth, even if they are your friend. But Jesus, he will always be there for you. You can't save yourself. You can't earn your salvation, but Jesus already took care of that for you. Invite Jesus into your life today. Get to know him and he'll help you change. Also, it's great to have him in your life because he can guide you through so many things. He can help you during difficult times. Sometimes people are not always able to help us. So I pray that this encourages you and I pray that this will encourage you to learn more about who Jesus Christ is. God bless you.